Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. My name is Rajat and today we will be discussing the question Determine if string halves are alike. In this question, we are given a string S of even length and we need to split this string into two halves of equal length and let A be the first half and B be the second half. The two strings are alike if they have the same number of vowels. Notice that S contains uppercase and lowercase letters. We need to return true if A and B are alike, otherwise we need to return false. Now in the first example as we can see the first half of the string contains one vowel and so is the second half so we return true. In the second example the first half that is text contain only one vowel while the second half book contains two vowels so we return false and similarly in the rest of the example as well. The given constraints are that the length is even and in between 2 to 1000 and the string consists of uppercase and lowercase letters. Now it is a fairly easy problem and we need to just loop on the first half, count the number of vowels present and then iterate over the second half and count the number of vowels and if they are both equal then we return true otherwise we return false. So now let's start coding this approach. So we'll first convert this string into a character array. Now we can have a left pointer which will be 0 starting from the 0th index and a right pointer which will be the last index. We need to loop till the left is less than the right. Now we can have two counts the left count and the right count which will also be 0. So we add in the left count when the character present at left is a vowel otherwise we add 0 and similarly for the right count wherein we add 1 when the character present at this right index is a vowel otherwise we will add 0. Now the left will be incremented and the right will be decremented. At the end we just need to check if the left count is equals to the right count or not. Now here we need to check if the character is a vowel or not. So to do so we will use set now all we need to do is call the vowels dot contains similarly here. That's all for the coding part. Let's try to run this code. So code ran successfully. Let's submit this. So it got submitted. The time and space complexity in this approach is O of n. If we do not use this character array then we can turn it into O of 1 space complexity. But then we need to use string dot caret. Do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.